vision as part of the genes of Lamborghini. Looking back is only for inspiration, not for copying. While looking for ways to create new styles, Lamborghini staff must align themselves with the company's strategy while still experiencing other cars. It was long thought that someday Lamborghini would manufacture a sedan. The presentation of the prototype Estoque confirmed this. Lamborghini has shown that the spirit of sporty, aggressive and stretched form can also be transferred to a sedan. Apparently the market is not as interested. What has been achieved with the Estoque will be done again with an SUV that has all the style of Lamborghini. And the best part is that Lamborghini will actually manufacture it. No longer a concept, the Urus will come true. Over time, even Lambo fans have evolved. This is something that only Lamborghini does, produce the most exclusive cars based on prototypes for its most exclusive customers or collectors. The Veneno, 750 horsepower, 0 to 103.8 seconds, top speed, 355 kilometers per hour. Only one person was lucky enough to acquire the only edition of the Aventador J. Despite many interested people, one client was chosen to pay 2,100,000 euros to be able to call it mine. This single copy anniversary has 720 horsepower and is very, very attractive. Only the Egoista can do the impossible. The chief designer of VW and one of the most important people in the industry, Walter De Silva, gave Lamborghini this prototype for its golden anniversary. The Egoista resembles a fighter jet, and so should it be driven, if it's ever built. In this video, we show what buyers should expect. Not very informative, but spectacular. No doubt the present, and especially the future of Lamborghini, is impressive.